All right, hey YouTube, what's going on? So, second ride out of the lockdown, and today we're here at the airbag. And so, I actually haven't ridden the airbag in like even a month or two before the lockdown, because so I was riding so many shows and riding jumps and things. So the bag, because it's autumn, has heaps and heaps of leaves on it, a bit of water on it. And before I ride it today, we're gonna get a time lapse, give it a quick clean up, because it is just horrible to ride it when it's this wet. So we're gonna quickly blow it up, sweep some of the leaves off, then get into the riding. But most importantly, we haven't seen Richie in a month and he's back. Hey Richie, what's going on? Oh, majestic as ever. Good to see you, Richie. Right, you better immediately like this video and comment something good about Richie. Sweet, so that's the airbag done being cleaned off and it's blown up. And that time lapse you watched in probably like a minute or two minutes actually took just on an hour to do. And if we take a look at the ramp, it's still, um, it's still like quite wet up there. So I'm gonna leave the bag blown up for a couple more minutes, let a little bit more of the water drain off. And then I'll start jumping. I am probably gonna get a little bit dirty, but the good thing is once you've rode it once, it knocks off heaps of dirt and like excess leaves and water. And it's meant to be dry all week, so later in the week it should be perfect. Sweet, so as you can see from those two shots there, there's still heaps of water actually running off the bag and out of the bag. So that's why I'm gonna give it a couple minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to give you a quick update on how the trails are looking. Okay, walking into the trails now. And stuff's not looking too bad, actually. So just before lockdown started, I actually came out here and I got a hold of a few carpets and tarps. And so I put them on like the jumps that were most important. And I put them on there just to protect them from the weather and stop the weeds from growing. And for the most part, they seem to have stayed on. And that tarp stayed on good. Long and low, still looking pretty good. Tarps on that lip. Berms looking okay. And the last big jump actually looks awesome still. Okay, so there's a quick look at the roll and if you've never seen it before. And it's actually quite cool, because it's just, it's actually, I think it was an old conveyor belt and it's bolted onto the shed roof there and just leaning up on the shed roof. So you come down, you have heaps of speed. So you now you can just do it without pedaling and have enough speed to flip it through to you can get about six cranks and if you're really hauling and then really send it. So it's pretty cool. And the bag's about as dry as I think it's gonna get. So I'm gonna suck it up, chuck the chestman on, get into the riding. Really looking forward to doing some tricks for the first time in like over a month. Right uh, up the roll in, first time in ages. <sighs> Honestly, like the bag's wet, it's gonna be gross, but I'm so excited to ride. But uh, I think this is on a good enough angle. I might toss up this a little bit. All right, let's start things easy. Do the standard every airbag session thing we do, and that's do a flip. First back in a couple months. Two track, crank, pump. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Man, that feels good. So ideally what's gonna happen after every jump, I land on the bag, it bounces off more water and more leaves, and it gets drier, so it gets better to ride. I am dreading though, and I eventually do fall over and slip in the water and mud, because it's gonna be gross. All right, get another backy on the go. Yeah, hey, tilted the camera down slightly, gonna go for a bar spin. Yup. Okay, this time we're going for a bar spin to X up. Woo. 
Woo. Here we're now gonna go for the double bar spin or bar to bar. One of my favorites, but one of the scarier ones too. Bar. All right, this is gonna be the one. Bar, bar, or double bar. Ah, there it is. I'm wet and I feel gross. But so now we're gonna land it and clean it up. Here we go. Yes, heck yeah. I'm gonna follow the bar spin trend and go for a truck driver now. Yes, first try too. Stoked. Awesome. Well stoked on the truck driver first try. Now I'm going to get one more GoPro clip and go for a seat grab Indy. Hopefully my cranks don't spin. I actually don't have my cranks offering right now. All right, here we go. Yeah. Heck yeah. All right, sweet. I'm now going to switch to some non point of view shots and Hannah's going to film some of the tricks. Going to start with the truck driver again and then do another seat grab Indy from another angle. Wait, so I actually slid out on that seat grab Indy. It felt pretty good. We're gonna try and get a bit bigger and land it this time. Sweet, I'm now gonna go for a tuck flip. Then we'll go into three table, then a three one hand table. Cause I wanna practice these tricks a bit. Sweet. So those were actually all first tries, which I'm pretty happy about. So I'm going to move on to another trick. I'm going to go for a flip one foot X up. I used to do this one heaps at the start of summer, but when I tore the muscle on my shoulder, I actually haven't done one since. So hopefully it can work out first try too. Awesome. So that was actually first try too, and it felt pretty good. So I'm going to roll the dice and see if I can flip bar. I haven't done this in ages, so I'm pretty scared. I might not do it if I'm not feeling it, but I'm gonna give it a go now and see how I feel. If I can land this flip bar, I want you to smash the like button now because I'm scared. So make sure you give this video a like if I get this flip bar. Okay, that's why that trick's freaking scary. I spun the bars but couldn't grab, then end up kicking the bike away. And just as soon as I hit the bag, I was just pushing myself away trying to miss the bike and luckily it missed me. So we're gonna give it another go. Now you definitely have to smash that like button because I nearly died and I'm trying again. So that one was equally terrifying. Got my feet stuck in the box a bit when I bailed off, but hopefully this third time's a charm. It's a little bit sketchy, but we rode out for a bit before sliding out, so I'm definitely taking it. Maybe like oh, 15 tries deep and just covered mud. But so stoked, I didn't let it beat me. It was a bit rough, but I know next time I can come back and hopefully do it sooner and then get it dialed in to do it till landing again. So, oh man, I'm puffed. That's so many tries. I'm gonna take a rest for a second and then get into a quark seven, maybe a double flip five enough energy. Make sure you smash the like button now and subscribe because I just flipping went through a lot to get that flip bar. 
sweet. I've had a little rest, but to be honest, I'm pretty shattered, like just not used to riding this much. And that flip bar, just all those slams, even though it was a bag, was just killing me. But I'm just gonna try and get one quick seven done and then one double flip done and then call it a video. Sweet, so that's one of two done, and the Quark 7 is actually the harder one to get right, and really stoked to get it like to where I would have landed on the jump first try. But now I'm gonna go for the double flip, and the double flip is a lot scarier, but it's easier, but it also takes more effort. So fingers crossed for first try. Heck yeah. Haven't done that in ages and it's always so scary the first one. Really stoked to ride away first try. Oh, yes. I'm gonna call that one the end of this video. So please give this video a like. Really push myself in this one. Give it some comments and subscribe if you're new. Cheers.